Hello everyone. For the past eight and a half years, I've been doing intramuscular uh, injections into my thigh to administer my testosterone. So every 10 days, and I have videos on this, every 10 days I would switch thighs and inject my testosterone. Um, three months ago, I switched to what's called subcutaneous injections. Subcutaneous injections mean instead of injecting into your muscle, you're injecting into your subcutaneous tissue. When I first started on hormones, uh, many providers said, don't do subcutaneous shots because your body's not going to be able to use the hormone. It's just going to filter it through so you don't get the full effect of, like for my case, the testosterone. Now, providers and researchers are saying, hey, from the research that we've done, we're seeing that subcutaneous shots are safe, effective, and that your body is utilizing the hormone that you inject into it. With the extra advantages of you're using a smaller needle in size and girth, you are no longer having to worry about scar tissue development in your muscle because you're not doing those shots anymore, which is really important, especially for people starting on hormones at a young age and continuing for the rest of your life that risk for scar tissue is pretty high in that sense. They can be less painful as well. However, I will say for me with subcutaneous shots, uh, currently I have found that they've been pretty painful, uh, meaning that right after I do an injection, it stings and burns for about a minute or two, and then it's a little bit bruised for the next few days. Uh, something to help with that is maybe your injection site. So today I'm going to demonstrate on my abdomen, which is where I've been doing it, just because it's going to be easier for the camera. But a lot of providers say, hey, instead of doing it in your abdomen, switch to the outer um, interior side of your thigh, like you've been doing with your IM shots, and inject there. So maybe you're not going to have as much problems with the stinging and pain there. Other providers say, hey, if that still doesn't work, maybe it's just the oil that your testosterone is suspended in. So if you're using sesame oil, which most of us do because cottonseed is more expensive, maybe try using cottonseed to see if that helps. Uh, so for me, the pain's a little bit still there. Uh, others say they don't feel anything and they love these shots, all right? The other great thing about subcutaneous is that you're doing it more frequently because it does go through your body a little bit faster than if you're doing an intramuscular shot. And with doing it more frequently, it may reduce kind of your peaks and valleys uh, and give you more of a steady dose of hormones to help you with your energy, your mood, um, and other things that are affected by hormones. So with the injection, you want to stay two inches away from your uh, belly button or umbilical area. All right, so you stay two inches away. And from the different things I've researched within this region is where you'd be injecting. Uh, I have a higher uh, belly button, so... I'm going to be going lower. Um, and I've already did my right side because you want to alternate each size each day or each time you do it. And so you grab the new technique I'm starting to use. You grab your tissue and squeeze it like this. And then you take the needle and you go directly in. All right. Directly in. Straight in. Inject. And then pull out. Okay. And then you massage for two minutes. Another technique that I first tried that my provider showed me but I decided I didn't like it as much is you stretch the skin and you take the needle and you put it underneath and have that beveled in going underneath that tissue and then inject, all right? So then it'd be going in like that. Uh, but this way, pinching works better for me, okay? I'm not gonna show you how to load the needle because I think there's plenty of videos that show that and I already have videos that show that so if you wanna look at that, you can at a later time. So I have my needle here and I have a little bit of a, um, the bigger end on it. I have the 22 gauge right now because I just haven't got a new prescription, which means I haven't got the 25 gauge yet. But the thing with this is you can still use them, you just don't push it all the way in, okay? So, as you can see, I have the tissue here. And you just go directly in, okay? And then slowly inject it. Okay, slowly take it out and massage it. If you do it for about a couple minutes, that really helps with the dispersing of the oil. Um, and that's really all there is to these injections.